Now we will discuss the types of friction. The different types of frictions are there. First one is static friction. Second one is kinetic friction. This kinetic friction is also called dynamic friction. or sliding friction. The third one is rolling friction. These are the three different types of friction where we can observe in our daily life with different objects and different situations. So what is the equation part where we can express or where we can expect these all situations we are going to discuss now. Now we are going to discuss about the static friction. The title itself says that static means steady. So what is the meaning of this static friction? Let us take a body which is on a horizontal surface. This is the representation of the surface. It was fixed to a thread and this thread is mounted on a pulley. One pan is attached at one of the end. In this pan we should add the weights. This is pulley. This is the object has mass m. This is the pan. If suppose there is no weight in the pan, that means the net force acting on the object is zero. Therefore, the body won't move. We know that. When we keep on adding the weights in the pan, suppose for some example, I have drawn some three weights. Let us take a one weight is added or loaded in the pan. That means this one weight, nothing but some uh, finite grams 50 grams or 100 grams or 200 grams whatever may be the availability with respect to that we are applying this pan is loaded with this weight this weight automatically applies a force to move this object but if the force is not sufficient to move the body will be in rest in the previous case net force acting on the body is zero in the second case while we are keeping the weights on adding or keep on adding the weights in the pan the force is not sufficient to move the meaning is that this body is experiencing a different type of friction or a force of reaction or frictional force which keeps to be in the steady state of course a force is acting on it in the other, either end this type of friction is called static friction so what is the definition of static friction the static friction may be defined like this. It is a force of resistance offered by a body which is in static state or steady state while it is tending to move under the action of external force. It is the force of reaction. acting on a body or a steady state body or in motion while it is tending to move under the action of external force.
means an external force is applying on the body to move it but a self adjusting force is keeping the body in steady state this is called static friction there are many uh, laws about the static friction what are those so what are the laws of the static friction it is a self adjusting force second one this force is equal in the magnitude of applied force but in opposite direction this force is equal to the magnitude of applied force but opposite in direction so from the second law we can say that this frictional force is almost an example or consequence of newton's third law of motion the third one this force is independent of area of contact independent on area of contact like this we can define the loss of static friction so what is the way to define the loss of static friction one more the static friction fs is proportional to normal reaction force therefore fs is equal to mu s n this mu s is coefficient of static friction so the coefficient of static friction is defined as fs by n so it is the ratio between static friction to the normal force of reaction static frictional force to the normal reaction force so like this we can understand the concept of static friction where we can see this static friction suppose if the force is not sufficient to move the object the body will be in steady state for long duration of time in that case until it moves before that motion starts the body is said to be in static friction condition if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus